Hey guys, stay tuned. We're going to talk about what I put in this bag to put in my daughter's car. Hey guys, welcome back. Shannon here with Got To Go Prepared. Uh, this is a small emergency trauma kit, and I keep this, I keep one of these in my car and a, um, it's in a military uh, medical, um, the words are escaping me, but uh, the IFAC cat case, I keep it in my car, it, it's real handy, and it has some of these same items in it, but I put a couple of these together to put in the my kids' cars, because uh, my oldest one is 17, be going to college next year, and my oldest one is in college, so she's out on her own, and I may do some future videos of what exactly I put in their packs to keep in their car, because they're out and running around, and uh, they need some things like this, and then I also recommend you teach your kids or let them watch videos and maybe go to a class to learn how to use some of these items, and there's a lot of videos on YouTube out there um, on how to use some of this stuff. I seen one recently um, on another one that really went over this stuff in depth. Uh, if I can get one of my buddies who's EMT or somebody to take the time to come on and, and show about some of this stuff, I will do it in the future. Uh, they're really busy right now trying to uh, get a way to do that, but I'll, I'll work on that. But I'm gonna talk about what's in here and then maybe you can find some other videos on, uh, I think the Patriot Nurse probably has some videos on how to do this, you can look her up. But um, just in a Ziploc bag for the kids, I threw this in the car where they can grab it really quick and handily. And um, for and, and I hope they never need to use this. This could be used for themselves personally if something happened. Well, uh, God forbid that ever happens. Uh, I'd rather have it and not need it than to need it and not have it. So, uh, but you could also, if you came up on a wreck and had the, the background or the skills to help someone until uh, EMTs could get there in an accident, you may save someone else's life. Uh, and, and that'd be another reason to have this uh, small little trauma kit in your vehicle. Um, you know, this like taking a CPR class, I'm CPR certified, have been for years. I recommend that. And I've done some certifications through, uh, through scouts and other things to know how to use some of these items as well. But for the sake of uh, do a short video, I'm not gonna go over those in details. Uh, first thing I can have in here, which you can tell this has uh, been in here a while, it's an older, this is a Kendall Carolex, and this is the ones I like better. It's a large gauze roll. Hope you can see that. Uh, also, I have in here a, the dog wants to get in on the action. This is an Israeli bandage. You can see that. And if you're not familiar with what these are, you can look these up as well and it'll give you more detail. But on the back, it really shows you how to use it. I would recommend if you buy one of these for your family, yourself, or your kids, buy an extra one of these and use it as a practice tool to know how to put it on. Because if you don't, if you just have this and you've never opened one and, and practiced with it, then it's gonna be kind of new and slow to you. So, uh, Israeli bandage as well. Also have in here a tourniquet. Now these right here can get pretty pricey and there's a lot of different variations of this. I've gotten several of them. And I tell you my secret to getting them and, and you know I'm do it yourself, try to save some money when I do some of these things, but I want good stuff. If you ne live near a surplus store, an Army Navy surplus store, or you can go online and find a places like that, going in the store yourself, you can negotiate and, and dig through boxes and find these. They're in good shape. Uh, and, and get them relatively inexpensive. I think I, I've never paid more than 10 bucks for one of these and they're all in good shape. There's some of these, this is a hard polymer plastic. They got some that are metal. I think I have one that's a metal one that I got a good deal on. Um, just, you can go in and negotiate and get these a lot cheaper than buying them full retail. Unless you've got the money and you want to do that, uh, you know, I recommend buy, buy brand new, buy good ones. But when you're trying to put multiple kits together, it's a good idea maybe to go in and negotiate and get some good ones. I have several of these, uh, and I have one of these in the kits here um, for the other cars. Uh, also in here I have a large ace bandage. This is a big one. Um, can be used for a lot of different things. In the videos you'll see people use these for different, uh, a lot of different emergencies and hold stuff on and uh, brace arms. 
good to have in there so I recommend at least one of these in there also I have in here this is a cold pack instant cold pack you can find these or these online uh, in multiple packs uh, sometimes a good cold pack somebody could just be overheated in the summer and need this uh, placed on the back of their neck or somewhere to keep them cool down in a, in a heat exhaustion situation or uh, anything like that you can think of that you would need that. Lastly, in here is some quick clot. And this is a, a clotting sponge. You can find this in a lot of different variations. It's not uh, a very inexpensive product. This one was, I think these run about 12 or $13 retail. Um, you can find ways to get access to them a little cheaper if you can. I've actually bought some uh, surplus kits in uh, the Army Navy surplus stores and found these inside, the military versions of them inside there, they're good. Uh, you can look at the date on, they do have an expiration date, but I've opened some of them and tried to use them. And even when they got a little bit of an expiration date, they still work fairly, uh, they work better than not having anything. So quick clot for some serious bleeding uh, that is going on. So you got a tourniquet and you got this to help stop the bleeding. Uh, and then you have the gauze and, and bandages to put on those things. So. What I, these things are here, all in this little grab-and-go bag. You could put this in any bag, but, I mean, this is inexpensive. Gallon-sized Ziplocs or Walmart brand bag, whatever you want. Grab-and-go, tuck it down between the seats. I think um, you know, one of my daughters, she has a, uh, a spot on the side of her car on the side where she gets out that she keeps a small bag and, and keeps a kit like this in there. So, uh, there you go, guys. Just some some more ideas of ways to go prepared that's preparing being prepared for yourself you could be in a an accident on a side road where nobody's around and you got a serious bleeding situation and you've got to stop it until somebody can find you or you can get out and sir, uh, save yourself or you may be witness or to an accident that's happened and no one's around and it's going to take time for uh, uh, the EMT guys and first responders to get there because in that case you're the first responder and if you have the ability or some first aid with you and you can help that person um, that may be you may save their life until the uh, EMTs can get there and, and take over um, so remember you got to go prepared because you just never know